what's going on guys welcome back to clash there guys we have the town hall 10 golden cup today now we're in the quarterfinals and if we can win today our other team is on the opposite side of the bracket and they just won their quarterfinals match they're gonna move on to the semifinals and if we can win then we will also be in the semifinals and we one match away from fighting against them so guys we have a couple rules for the tournament we're allowed one attack per player we have one hour to plan and do our attacks we're not allowed to use witches we're not allowed to use lightning and we're allowed a maximum of three P.E.K.K.A.s in our attack. Now, if you use a Siege Barracks, then the P.E.K.K.A. that is generated by the Siege Barracks doesn't count towards that three P.E.K.K.A. limit. And we are allowed to use high level donations, including Siege Machines. So, guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. And now I also want to point out, I have noticed that when we do no Siege Machine tournaments and we do tournaments with Siege Machines, the no siege machine tournaments often allow lightning and they generally have like higher hit rates than the siege allowed with no lightnings allowed tournaments so kind of interesting just something i noticed but guys let's go dive into action here and let's go take some bases down ladies and gentlemen we are live with the first attack we've got an attack against me coming in with some go hobo or pekka pekka hobo go hope or Heck of hope, I mean, whatever it's, ah, <laughs> bowler hope. I don't even know. Uh, either way, we got Pekka's, we got wizards, we got the wall wrecker and he's got, uh, whoa, how many Pekka's did he bring here? Whoa, this is four Pekka's. Are they DQ'd already? Why does he have four Pekka's? The rules say he's only allowed to bring three. He didn't, he has the other one that he hasn't deployed yet, but he, he, if he doesn't deploy it, does it, does it count as against the rules? Oh man, did, did we just get an auto win? We well, might've just got an auto win or they at least uh, discount this attack. Either way, he's going into his hogs at a really weird spot. They're going right after my town hall. And clearing that area out instead of uh, splitting off to the sides here. But he hasn't deployed that last P.E.K.K.A. I wonder if he realized that he brought four on accident. And he's just going to try to not deploy it and just play with uh, 25 troop space down. Let's see if he can get this though. Troll test in the bottom corner. He's not going to get it. And on top of that, if he doesn't use that P.E.K.K.A. He's going he's gonna to one star. All right. Well, that just happened. <laughs> That changes the that changes the war a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, that hog is definitely not going to make it through. The peck up on the top side, not doing anything. And I, I assume that he realized he brought too many pekkas, and he's just just not deploying that last one, and just trying to keep the other one alive. And maybe they'll be leaning with the rules on this because he is swagging it. But if he deploys that pekka a hundred percent, then the t the whole attack is uh, DQ'd. You know. I think he'll make it through the town hall. That's a funny scenario. I don't really know what to do with that. But that is, it is what it is. The tournament rules say no witches, no more than three P.E.K.K.A.s, and no lightnings. So, yeah, he's just going to hold it. <laughs> yeah, they must have screamed at him in voice chat. That's, uh, that's probably right, Alex. That's probably right. All right, well, he'll get the town hall down. And he will just collect as much as he can with his last P.E.K.K.A. that's out there. And that's it. That's, that's it. Nice try. My base is going to hold strong here. I don't think the extra five hogs would have made a difference. Ah, maybe they would have, actually. Maybe they would have. Hmm. What do you guys think? Would he have made it? Five extra troop space? I don't know. Either way, ended at 90 or 89% there. Will be the final for the first attack. We are live. Here we go. First attack from Double Barrel coming in here from uh, Messi. Messi's got some Queen Charge Miners. Oh, maybe I should do some Queen Charge Miners. Be fun. Queen Charge Miners, very, very strong at Town Hall 9 or 10, I mean. But the Queen Charge Miners needs a uh, Siege Barracks to be at its most effective because the Queen can go and take a lot but if you have to then provide uh, funneling troops there for the miners for the other side then they don't usually have enough miners to get through the base but when you add a siege barracks you get all those extra funneling troops there from the pekka and all the wizards and you can just clean house so 
Messi working his way in here, taking out that CC. Trying to get that uh, balloon down before it gets a strike off, does. And then that high level Golem just hanging out on defense there. Now they can't get completely max groups on defense because we still have to get Town Hall 10s donated to them and they can only get a maximum of two levels gained, but still doing all right here. Tessa pops up here, working his way into the Inferno. He's got the Rage down. Now notice how he put the Rage a little bit ahead of the Queen so that she steps into it. So that way when she's uh, stepping into the highest amount of damage, she's still inside the Rage there. Very good placement, but she does ultimately step out of it. Takes a weird path there. Sweeper is going to knock his healers back a little bit. Not going to do too much there, but steps into the Queen now. That Rage will cover him all the way through there. Pops the Freeze there to get that enemy Queen down rather than using his ability. He's got the Siege Burst in the top corner with the King. Here come the Miners. Early heal. Early heals, he goes into that wizard tower. A bunch of skelly traps there pop, and the queen trying to decide where she wants to go. She goes over to a Tesla that just popped, and she will continue on to the sweepers. She'll probably go through a wall here after the minus uh, destroy the rest of her targets, and she'll step forward and work her way to the arch tower, the wizard tower. It's going to be really good here. He's got another heal. He can go into the multi inferno with that. There's the heal, as he uh, also covers the bomb tower with it as well. Very, very effective use of the heals there, getting the multi infernos and the bomb towers. That's where we want them. We just have to eat the giant bombs after that if any uh, pop there. I'm not seeing a lot of Tessa's exterior on the base here. A lot of times the uh, way to defend hogs or miners is to draw, well specifically hogs, is to draw them out of the base and get them hit by giant bombs. That also you to defend witches and stuff as well. But here we go, moving to the final defenses. Looks like he's got it under control here. Messi coming in here and opening up with a three star for double barrel. That's what we like to see. A defense... Followed by that. Now we'll eventually find out the ruling on what they do with that P.E.K.K.A. on that last attack there. I'm not sure what the ruling on that is, is going to be. I would just assume let it slide because he didn't use it. He caught his mistake there and he didn't deploy it. So I say let it stand and let the best team come in and uh and wait, 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 it's us. It's us. So let's let's go take him down. Messi with the three star. Boom. There's some confetti for him. Easy day. Primer is live from double barrel coming in with some queen charge and hog miner hybrid now hogs and miners have an enormous amount of synergy we've seen it at all town hall levels but uh town hall and and higher it's uh very very effective i personally like to go pure miners at town hall 10 and under i just feel like there's not enough splash damage on the base to really warrant a hybrid because you're really just trying to separate the troops out so your hogs and your miners are attacking separate targets and they don't all get hit by the splash damage. But with no eagle artillery, it's usually not that big of a problem. But we'll see. Either way, it worked. both of them were fine. They're both really strong here. But uh, nice queen charge so far. He should have popped a power potion or uh, a hero potion. What do you think, guys? Should he have popped a hero potion for a tournament war here? In the quarterfinals. And we'll see if we get the three star anyways. Rage is up here. Surprise to CC. Now, Queen Charge loves to see a damage CC because it can burn through so fast there with the poison. And is never going to get out of control there unless the Queen, like, goes for a walk and doesn't go into the base here. That's, that could be a big problem. But normally, it doesn't go for a walk. Rage is up to catch the, uh, oh, no. Wait, wait. The Queen doesn't attack the wall here. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, nice. OP Queen. And he forgot to drop a healer. He drops the last one now. The walls were weakened up there, so the Queen decided she does want to attack the wall there. And is smart for once and uh, does exactly what we wanted her to do. Now she can work her way through that next wall. And she's going after the Inferno. He's got a freeze. He's going to have to pay attention and either use the freeze on the King. Or I guess he could just go to ability there. He's got two heals here to push these hogs and minus through. They have the Inferno right there. He cast the heal spell to cover them. And he's fallen a little bit short on the bottom group there. So he's going to have to circle back in the Arch Tower and the expo there that's gonna potentially cause some problems if the queen goes to ability down to the bottom side there she'll work her way through that uh king and then into the multi inferno here getting targeted a little bit there but she'll be all right as he's gonna heal through the bomb tower in the middle of base there he does have a couple minus split off they're gonna go backwards and go take out that uh expo they got left behind they do get it down into the back side of the base so the queen will grab the cannon there's more than enough troops here to finish their way through freezes up and he didn't even need the freeze could have uh swagged that freeze there but you know what Better safe than sorry. Get the uh, defenses down. Preserve as many troops as possible so you don't end up with a time fail. And Primer comes in here and gets another trip on the board here. Queen Charge Hog Minor Hybrid. Very, very powerful. I feel like between that, Queen Charge Miners, Electrones, Zap Dragons. Town All 10 is 
pretty easy nowadays and I do like the huge amount of variety that we have in attacks there and uh, this one is one of the strongest so nice job primer Momo is live here we go coming in with some queen charge hybrid queen charge hybrid he's got a baby dragon and a balloon funneling for this queen gonna try to drive her to is he oh he's got the jump spell okay he's using the king to push her in i was like where's his wall breakers but he doesn't have any he's going for the jump spell he's got that king look at that he got the queen to step out of the walls there and he's gonna get her down with the king and the enemy king is gonna step out he'll get some damage on him and maybe we'll take him down he does take him down grabbing both heroes with the king ability that is huge right there that is huge now watch the range of this inferno the healers are approaching a little bit of an awkward angle here. And if they engage that hound at the wrong time, then the healers could get, be, be getting targeted. But he does stay safe here. We got another live attack. Let's save right here and see what Momo's doing with this Queen Charge Hybrid. See if he can get this done. Queen Charge Hybrid, one of the strongest attacks in the game at Town Hall 9. Especially when you don't have access to Lightning, which is against the Roses Tournament. Because it's a little bit broken right now. We all know. We all know. But uh, here we go. The jump is in a fade soon, I think. Is he going to get through it before it does? Oh, it fades right there. And as soon as she is looking for a wall to attack, it fades. He's got a wizard pinging down at the town hall. The queen's going to go through the wall. And she'll actually be able to reach those Teslas over there. But he wants to get that expo off of her. He needs to get that expo down. And he has a queen ability, so he can't protect himself. Uh, luckily, that uh, expo is being tanked by the queen. And so as long as... Uh, while we're waiting for her to... They go to ability. She was taking it and keeping the damage off of the hogs and the minus they swept through into the multi inferno. They're going to wrap around that multi inferno. They're not going to get direct access into it. He needs to get that bomb tower down before these uh, big massive hogs that are high level reach that area. But the queen losing healers slowly. And here we go. He's got a nice push with the hogs there. They're going to now finally get into that multi inferno. They're out of heals, but they are the higher level hogs there and they should have no problem getting it down. No skelly traps working on by the looks of it. So looking like he's got the triple here wrapping around for the cleanup. Momo's got the triple. Oh, wait, troll test in the corner. Oh, here we go. The pack guy, everything's going up there. All right. He's got this one under control. Nice hit here from Momo. Queen can reach almost everything except for that one builder or the gold mine there. And he's got 30 seconds to clean up. Let's bounce another attack here. And let's see what we got going on here. We got Primer getting hit. And just, oh, this is a, oh, this is a triple too. They got a triple. So many hog attacks today. Hogs, miners, kill squads, go hobo, all that kind of stuff there. Just wrecking through bases. Over here, we have Dark Coco in for some, he's got a hog attack here with, it's a, it's a P.E.K.K.A into wall wrecker into hogs again here everybody's loving hogs today everybody's loving some hogs i like it i'm a big fan of hogs i'm gonna use a queen charge hog attack on mine so i totally get it let's see if we can get this done so he's got the wall wrecker that's uh he's funneling out both are well on both sides here the peckers and the wizards do such a good job of funneling out the edges and he'll uh, work his way in the wall wrecker is gonna get through one more wall before it goes down i think and that'll open up access to go through and clear everything on the bottom side of that empty V in the middle of base there. Empty V in the middle of base there. Not going to... Those are good things to look for when you're going to do a hog attack. But I do worry about this one a little bit because when the hogs come through, I see two separate paths through the base here. If he comes in on the right or the left, he's going to have the hogs either partially split down here and go across or he's going to have a group go up here. Either way... It's going to separate the hogs into a wide area and it's going to make it very difficult for him to actually get the pathing to get all of them to get hit by the same heal spell. So watch what happens here. Either uh, like a small split might happen here, but he's going to have a like half of his hogs go up. Half of them are going to go down. There we go. They're starting to happen right now. They're going in different directions. So the bottom group, if they don't get to that multi inferno, then they're going to be separated from the rest of the group there. And that will cause some problems. Only one hog survives down there because of the spring trap. But the the big group there on the top is surviving well. They will continue around. And he's got a heal spell. He's looking good. 
Dark Coco is uh, very likely got the triple. He's got a queen ability. He can use that to get through the enemy king. The hogs are making it through into a giant bomb, but he still is under the heal spell. One more heal spell, and there we go. Dark Coco is going to get the three star here. Nice hit. Nice hit. Pop him some confetti there. Oh, wait, wait. Troll Tessa? He's still good either way. He's got it either way. He's got plenty of time there. That's the nice part about the attack is even when... Even when you're... Like, it's such a fast attack there that you end up with... Uh, wow, look at this. <laughs> All right. I got to get a two-star and we win. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good luck. All right. Here we go. Okay. Queen Charge Hogs going live. The final variation of Hogs that we haven't seen yet, I think. One of them at least. Three. Why do you ten wall breakers? Why not? I got I'm gonna I got some I got some big hopes here for what this queen is gonna do, alright? She's in a she's in a Alright, I'm here. excited. How much Six percentage plan. do I need if I one star, huh? That's what I need to know. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Why why do you even want to know? It's fifty nine percent. Fifty nine. Come on, Eric. We're going 59 for the 59% one star. Here we go. Here we go. We're live. Let's go. Let's go. If you end battle and see with the one star and 59%. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Hog, <laughs> pull the CC. Looks like trash. Oh, we went to ability. I think you got full pull. Oh yeah, there's a witch coming. Okay. Hold your poison. Too late. Used it. I should get her with it though. She get the witch, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, sorry, siege barracks. Thing. Is there behind a queen? Clean up. No re rager. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm gonna hog it to town hall. I mess it up here. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Watch the enemy king. It could roast your hogs. Yeah, we're just gonna heal early. And uh put a bunch of wizards inside of the rage over there. Heal, 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 heal. I did, I did, I did. Ooh. Air. Freeze the queen. Freeze the queen. Freezing the king. The king down to get to the town hall. Oh that's true. Uh, you might want to kill that mortar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it exciting, guys. Don't worry. All right. Watch the skellies. Um. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Fifty-nine. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Fifty-nine. Popping king. Oh. Oh Please no! Tell me you have more cleanup somewhere. Any more oh, how many more? Did I just mess this up? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. 57%. <laughs> Guys! Kick me out of the clan! Kick me out of the clan! I just ruined the perfect war. <laughs> oh no. Did we lose because of that? I am embarrassed. That's what I get for being... Man. Why does... Good try, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we lost by 1%! Are you kidding me?! I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go cry in shame somewhere. If everybody will just excuse me for a little while. <sighs> hmm. Well, that was bad. That was really, 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 really bad. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're done. Oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. That was so bad. What was I? What the heck I find, was I doing? Um, 
I find some chad of you saying that we should uh, be doing better at Town Hall 10 somewhere? Shut up! No! no. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I feel like man. I should be like disappointed, but it's also Town Hall 10, so I don't really care. Town Hall 10. <laughs> See? <laughs> I want to know the reaction of the other clan there. You know, like they thought they were losing and then that, and then that. Oh man, when you think you got the war in your hand and you just, you, okay. Like you guys are over here, like we're having like a slam dunk contest and you guys are all dunking. And then somebody throws the ball to me and it just hits me right in the face. And I just fall to the ground or something like that. That's, that's what I feel like right now. That's what I feel like right now. If you guys, you guys are just like smashing out slam dunks and and then I, I just, I don't know what did I, did. I ran the wrong way when I caught the ball and scored a goal for the other team or something. I don't even know. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I am glad I could be your entertainment for the day, but I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. If you're watching this on YouTube later, make sure the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to use code Eric and don't do whatever the hell I just did. Do whatever everybody else did. And, uh, We'll get some three stars on the board, all right? <laughs> Replay it? No, I'm not replaying it. No, no. <laughs>